Hey folks, congratulations on your new Turtleback trailer. While the guys are in the shop hard at work putting it together for you, we wanted to take this opportunity to spend a couple of minutes and show you the features and benefits of your trailer so that when you get it, you're comfortable with it all. So let's start in the front and take a look. Moving to the front of the trailer, we have an impact pad over here to stop any rock chips on the front of the box. This box is beautiful and engineered really well, um, made of aluminum construction again, and then cut on a laser cutter and then bent on a CNC uh, press brake. Opening this up again is a dual action lock, which sucks down nicely into the automotive seals, keeping all the dirt, water out of your nose box. All the electrical equipment is housed in the front of the nose box. On the driver's side, we have the shore power charger for your battery system. Standard feature would be a single uh, deep cycle 102 amp hour battery. This particular unit is set up with a, an upgraded dual battery system. It also has a 2000 watt inverter, which is an upgraded option. You can choose a 1000 watt or a 2000 watt depending on your needs and requirements. This unit is also upgraded with a ZAMP solar controller and a Red Arc DC to DC converter. On the outside of the box over here, this is where you would plug in your 110 volt uh, shore power to charge your batteries. No matter what the breakers are inside the trailer, just plug it in, it'll charge your battery setup. No thought process required. We also have a, th a through pass over here. And the beauty of that is if you do run an inverter system, you can plug your 110 uh, extension cord in there and then have your appliance set up outside and you, your nose box is not required to be open all the time while you have something plugged into the inverter. As I close that down over there, you can hear the clicks of that dual action lock really sucking in to those automotive seals, keeping all the water and dust out of there. On the front of the unit over here, we have our shower compartment unit. Simply push down on the lever, open up the shower box, take the shower hose, quick connect to hook it up, hot and cold water adjustment right on the front over here. And then we have our privacy tent that we have uh, built out. Look down at the links below for the video on, um, on the privacy tent setup and how unique that is. Keeps you out of the, the elements and in a nice place to shower when you're off on the trail. Let's move around to the passenger side of the trailer and take a look at what we got on that side. Coming around to the passenger side of the trailer, the first thing that stands out to me is the Topo Graphics Package. It stands out and gives a nice, elegant look. On the side of the nose box over here, we have the door latch. All the swing out doors have a door latch, keeping them secure in the wind. Over here, we have the solar port. Plug in your solar panel, run it 15 to 20 feet away from the trailer, keeping that in the sun all day, move it around during the course of the day, making sure you're getting the maximum power from the sun, keeping your batteries nice and topped off. The main storage compartment on the Turtleback trailer is a through-pass storage compartment. And what's nice about that is if you're on the trail and things do shift, you can always access it from the other side of the trailer. It's not like some of the trailers on the market where you've got a four to six foot storage compartment and if things roll around, they're at the way right at the front of the trailer or on the side and you have to climb in there and get your wife to grab your feet and yank you out because everything's so far back. I don't have four foot long arms, I'm sure you don't. Let's take a look at this one now. Compression locks, automotive seals, keeping the dust and the dirt out of that storage compartment. The one we're gonna look at today has a 70 liter Snowmaster fridge freezer combo in it, which fits in there as you can see. To access the fridge on a slide, simply pull it up, slide the fridge out, and now you get into all your groceries, your ice cream, your lollipops to keep the kids happy. Still a lot of space inside the storage compartment, even with that large refrigerator. You do not need to run a refrigerator, so that is a compartment where you can keep all your camping gear stored in it. On the front of the boxes over here, keeping everything protected from rocks and hard-headed bugs, we have an impact pad coated with uh, urethane again, same as the chassis. Likewise, the fenders over here coated in a urethane, keeping it nice and protected. Moving on to the hot water heater on the side, it's a six gallon Dometic hot water heater. That coupled with the 42 gallons in the storage tank give you 48 effective gallons of water, allowing you to take those hot water showers on the trail and at campsite, keeping mama bear happy. Storage compartment on this side is a smaller little storage compartment. Shelf inside you with LED lighting above and below the, the shelving, giving you more than enough light to see what you have stored in there. And there is some water, uh, some more storage underneath the water heater itself too. Down below over here, we have an accessory propane tank. It's a five gallon propane cylinder. It's a nice backup for the 11 pound we have on the other side that we'll get to in a little bit. And also if you wanted to carry an accessory or, an, or any barbecue pits or fire pits along with you, 
You can take those and run those off of those without having to disconnect your main propane cylinder. We're gonna move down now and take a look at the suspension and uh, give you a sneak peek at that. All right guys, so now we're down in the trenches where the magic happens. Take a look at this suspension setup. Designed in collaboration with Icon Vehicle Dynamics and with spring rig dampering specifically for Turtleback. The Turtleback signature suspension setup. Standard feature would be the timber and axle suspension, but this thing is in a league of its own. Designed and built in-house using Ford Raptor hardware to make sure this thing is bulletproof to get you out onto the trail and more importantly, to get you home and to soak up all that vibration so that doesn't transfer through all your gear up into your tent and so forth and ruin all your stuff. All right, take a look at this thing. In the meantime, I'm gonna crawl out of here and let's go see the kitchen. Moving towards the back of the trailer, let's take a look at the kitchen. Super easy to set up on the trail. Let me show you how quick and easy it is to set up. Pull the latch, swing the tailgate out, pin it in place so it doesn't swing around. Stainless steel table, perfect for prepping your goods on it. Compression locks again on the back of the trailer, keeping it nice and dry and dust free inside the kitchen because that's the last place you're gonna wanna get dust. Push down on the locks, slide out the kitchen unit, pull it to its lock position, and your kitchen is set up. You also have another drop down table on this side. Let me show you some of the pantry slides and what those have for you. On the top, all the drawers have locks on them so they don't bang around when you're out on the trail. These do have interchangeable dividers, so you can set that slide up as you want it. The middle drawer is slightly larger, that way you can get your plates in there, your pots, pans, and all your larger goods. Again, interchangeable to set up for your needs and how you like it. All Turtleback trailers come with a dual burner partner stove, which puts out about 10,000 BTU. But as you pull out the slide, simply hit the relay switch on the side, which will activate the propane, allowing it to flow freely. So with that propane safety circuit in place too, when you do close up kitchen and slide it in, it'll automatically cut the propane. That way when you are traveling home, you're not getting propane leaking into the trailer because you thought you had it closed, but it's just slightly cracked open and propane's bleeding off. That will ensure that you have no propane leaking through there. We always recommend though, that you do shut off the 11 pound propane tank before you hit the trail again. Closing up the kitchen, you feel those compression locks really sucking in up against those automotive seals, keeping everything nice and dry. Before I close the tailgate though, I wanna just briefly go through what we got going on on this side of the trailer. Water fill comes in over here. Your 42 gallon water tank is filled from this point. We also have a bypass pressurized water hookup. And what that allows you to do is to travel without the 42 gallons of water in the tank, taking out that 380 to 400 pounds of weight out of the trailer, if you know you're gonna have pressurized water hookups along the way, and then before you head off into the trails and you know you're gonna be out of civilization for a couple of weeks, you can then fill up your tank and go from there. Optional extras are additional charge ports. Yeah, at the back of the kitchen, it's a nice add-on to all of our trailers to put a USB, dual USB charger, and a 12 volt cigarette style hookup on the back of the trailer. That way when you're on your kitchen area and you wanna charge up some device, USB devices or something like that, you have an easy place to plug those in. And then again, the door latches, keeping everything secure when you are out and deployed. Closing the tailgate on this side again, very easy. Unhook the pin from the hitch, extremely easy to close. Let's just head on over now to the driver's side of the trailer and take a look at what we got in this side box of the trailer. All right, driver's side of the trailer, starting at the back, we have the 11 pound propane cylinder, which is hard plumbed into the trailer. So no setting up your propane bottle every time you get to camp, simply turn it on and your hot water heater and your stove is ready to fire up and get those hot dogs grilling away. Down on the wheels, we are able to match up your wheel pattern and lug patterns to, um, to your tow vehicle. So if you're running a Jeep or a Toyota uh, lug pattern, we can do that. Matching up wheels and tires, which looks super cool uh, when your rig all matches up all nicely. The main box on the side over here houses all of the electrical componentry behind these compression locks. Super heavy duty compression locks which suck in with an automotive seal keeping all the dust and dirt out. And the electrical panel over here, the main brain of the trailer. On off switch, master on off switch. So you can shut down the trailer at this flip of a switch or switch it back on. The marine grade switch panel over here, starting from the back of the unit, you have a spare 12 volt, which runs a wire to the back. If you're wanting to set up any additional 12 volt, there is a spare wire there for you. 
water pump, self-explanatory, runs the water pump. So when you want to run the sink or run your shower unit, switch on your water pump. Safety circuit, the safety circuit is a propane safety circuit. All turtleback trailers have safety propane circuits built into them. So you don't burn down the house at a campsite or have the whole cabinet fill up with propane while you're driving down the road. It'll shut it all off for you. Accessory main switch over here, controls all your USB and 12 volt plug points around the trailer. So typically there'll be dual USB switches or plug points and a 12 volt cigarette style lighter in there too. Turtle lighting, under the turtle back trailer, we cut a turtle into the frame and then we backlight it with a green light. It gives you a nice ambient green glow underneath the trailer. Kitchen lighting, LED lighting on the back of the trailer, obviously over the kitchen, giving you ample lighting when you're prepping up those gourmet meals. Interior lighting, inside the storage compartment, nose box, and in the desired storage box, above and below any of the shelving is LED lighting. Again, ample lighting to see any of your goods that you store in there. Exterior lighting, LED lighting all around the vehicle. When you're sitting up camp late at night and you get there just a little bit later than you thought and the sun's already gone down, you have more than enough light to set up camp without falling over everything. Dometic hot water heater, six gallon hot water heater. Master on off switch on this side of here. Flip that on, hot water heater will kick in on that side. Inverter, if you're running an inverter in your build, the remote switch will be on the main control panel over here. We run 1000 watt and 2000 watt inverters if you so choose, and you can turn that on and off right from the panel over here. Voltmeter or SOC, depending again on what your build choice is. A voltmeter will simply show you the voltage that your batteries are currently sitting at. SOC monitor gets a little bit more in depth, a little bit more information on your amp draw, your battery life, and what sort of life expectancy you still have in your batteries. A lot of information out of that unit right there for you. Moving to the front main storage compartment now, this is a through pass storage compartment. And the beauty of that really is when you pack something in there, if it shifts across to the other side for whatever reason, you just get it from the other side. Compression locks behind you. This particular unit actually has a refrigerator which will slide out on the passenger side. So yeah, we can see the back of the refrigerator. I think it's about a 70 liter uh, Snowmaster refrigerator a very very big refrigerator and it's got more than enough room in there for that unit and still storage room over here for any containers or anything else you want to throw in there let's move on to setting this bad boy up getting the tent out and show you what that looks like well folks there you go a turtleback expedition trailer set up ready for camp Reach out to any of our sales team if you have any questions, but keep in mind the way this particular unit is set up with tent and awning options is just one of the many ways we can set them up. So reach out to us and let's find out what your family's needs and requirements are and get the trailer set up perfect just for you. Until then, stay safe, happy trails. I'm gonna test out this tent.